naomba msamaha ili komondi nifanye makosa kwa ku half sex na mama yako pole msamee Mungu nishamuomba msamaha nimeomba wa Kenya msamaha wa Kenya tafadhali msaidie kwa kulala na mama ya Erikomondi ni vile vitendo nilifanya ambavyo ni They say fame is like an addictive drug once you become famous you will find yourself wanting to do anything possible to remain famous just like a drug user who will do anything possible to remain high on drugs then that's how fame is fame has made most of our celebrities go too far for their names to remain relevant from faking their lives to doing unimaginable acts on cameras to even stripping naked for instagram likes in this episode we will expose various kenyan celebrities who went too far for instagram likes and fame hello my name is chief okuzo from plug tv number 1 eric omondi the controversial comedian is never new to controversy having been in the kenyan entertainment industry for decades the comedian has paid the ultimate price to keep his name where it is during his early days as a comedian eric omondi found himself in trouble with kenyans after he stripped naked for social media likes in 2018 in a video that unknown people allegedly leaked eric omondi was seen in the company of teenage boys swimming in a river back in the village surprisingly both the comedian and the teenagers were but naked whoever leaked the video is not yet known but netizens claimed that the comedian did it intentionally knowing very well he was a public figure and that the video would eventually make him a topic of discussion he stated that the naked video was not meant to go on social media as he was shooting a traditional video dubbed river lake nylots that happens to be talking about life in the old days i trusted the team i was working with i shot it to post it and if you were careful i had posted a few photos from the shoot but later pulled them down many people did not have a problem with the photos as fast they were black and white i captioned them wakanda 1936 so that they could relate and the problem came when the naked video was leaked online i am not aware of who leaked it but we were doing investigations with our circle to ascertain who did it I had a small team from my production department and a few members of the Turukana government said Eric Omondi. As the video got netizens so angry on social media including the then KFCB boss Ezekiel Motua who criticized the comedian on Twitter saying Eric Omondi's video is in violation of Kenyan Film Classification Board's cl- classification guidelines and a cap 222 but also the children act the parents of minors should sue Eric Omondi for the gross and indecent exposure of their kids he said consumers federation of kenya were also not left behind over eric omondi's behavior through their twitter account they blasted the comedian saying the video in which comedian eric omondi is totally with neck in water is a tragedy he has crossed the red line of indecent exposure and must be arrested and put under medical test to ascertain whether it's a deliberate or if he is unwell they said so intense was the backlash to the extent that Eric Omondi wounded his kneecaps kneeling down and begging for forgiveness from his fans and the government alike Eric Omondi defended himself by saying, "I have been a comedian all my life. Many are the times that I have erred. Today was one of those days. I did not in any way intend to offend anyone. I am deeply sorry for that." Ever since the video of the comedian went online, Eric Omondi has been rubbing his shoulders the wrong way with almost everyone in the country. from the current president William Ruto to Kenyan celebrities and even Tanzanian artists all in the name of keeping the entertainment industry ablaze with content surprisingly his social media antics have handsomely paid him make him the most followed Instagram personality in Kenya with over 4 million followers on Instagram 
Number two, Veracidica. The Kenyan socialite gained widespread recognition both within Kenya and beyond its borders, primarily due to her notably curvaceous figure. And to maintain her presence in the public eye, Vera frequently leverages social media platforms, showcasing her ample hips to her audience. However, she faced backlash at one point for allegedly fabricating an illness as a publicity stand for a music video. Vera Siddika in response explained that a photo she shared earlier depicted her with a slimmer appearance than her usual because she had undergone corrective surgery on her buttocks and breasts, which she had previously enhanced through cosmetic procedures, according to her narration. She asserted that the surgery had posed significant health risks and complications, prompting her to undergo further procedures to reset her body. This has been an incredibly challenging phase of my life. Due to health concerns and complications, I had to undergo surgery. It's still surreal, but I've accepted it and learned to embrace myself regardless. Ladies, Please prioritize self-love and never succumb to peer pressure that could jeopardize your future. I'm grateful to be alive. God has shown me immense love. It's been a tough journey. I didn't even celebrate my birthday this year. But I am here. Happy birthday to me, Vera Siddika said. Shortly after, Vera Siddika took to her social media platforms again, revealing that the entire ordeal was a prank. To further the reuse, she released a song titled Popstar. However, this revelation did not sit well with many of her fans, who questioned the ethics of feigning illness for social media attention. One social media user blasted Vera Siddika saying, Guess what, sis? Your actions have consequences. You didn't deceive us. You deceived yourself. The power of life and death lies in your words. Such was the extent of her fans disappointed that the song became infamous in Kenyan history, earning the distinction of being one of the most disliked songs on YouTube, garnering over 49,000 dislikes compared to 13,000 likes on the same song on YouTube. Number 3. Manzi Wakibera this emerging social media personality has consistently quoted controversy from the outset. From boldly endorsing her leaked nudes, asserting she'd flaunt her body regardless and fearlessly facing any consequences. Yeah, but anyway, Kim Kardashian alikuwa famous for that. Zari akona nudes na porn and Manzi Wakibera is also in the mix. You, you don't feel ashamed to kill on a video? For what? Publicity is publicity. Yeah, bad publicity is good publicity. Where? Manzo Kibera, I'm going much deeper here. Okada, you can't be so nude so I can't be so nude so I can't be so nude. You will show them. Personally, I will show my kids. These are my nudes. And this is what made you who you are. Bila uyo mama wa nudes ange munge zaliwa. So my future kids. Here I come with my nudes, my babies. Yeah. To orchestrating a relationship with a much older man who could be mistaken for her grandfather. And even bearing it all on her social media platforms, she's employed every tactic to stay in the spotlight. However, the public's receptions of these maneuvers by Manzi Wakibera suggests a growing sentiment that she is crossing boundaries in pursuit of social media attention. Number 4. Shakila Another internet sensation from Kenya faced accusations of seeking fame excessively is Shakila. As she first garnered national attention by live streaming on Instagram and sharing all for her social media followers. Taking it further, she even indulged in inserting various objects in her cookie jar, including TV remotes to entice her fans. The height of her attention-seeking behavior came when she publicly named several celebrities she purportedly had relationships with, including rapper Calligraph Jones, 
footballer Victor Wanyama, Kenyan singer Masauti, Otile Brown, Rington, and many others. These allegations were made through her social media accounts, but she failed to provide any evidence to support her claims. Consequently, she found herself in legal troubles as Calligraph Jones and Victor Wanyama threatened defamation suits against her unless she apologized. Shakila later issued an apology, admitting that she had fabricated the stories about being intimate with Calligraph Jones and Victor Wanyama. My name is Shakila and I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to Victor Wanyama and say sorry about the horrible things that I said about him. I've never met Victor, neither has he paid me or had sex with me. I was drunk at the time and foolishly excited about being on X and Dennis live show. I apologize to his family and I'm sorry for any pain that I may have caused. I would like to take this opportunity to warn young people about the dangers of social media and the risk of being enticed into chasing fame by those seeking to exploit us and profit from our mistakes. To those of you who have published the videos of the false statement that I said about Victor, I urge you to pull down as legal consequences will be taken against you for publishing. I've been warned by my advocates on the dangers that I placed myself in and I appreciate this chance to make amends. You may not be lucky. Once again, I'm sorry to Victor and his family. Thank you. Since the incident, Shakila has become synonymous with those who have crossed boundaries in pursuit of social media notoriety in Kenya. Well, and yeah, well, fame is like a drug. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye-bye.